Uh, that was a good question. I think it's really important to, you know, try to, you know, find different situations where we do the drill where the technique we have been working. You know, sometimes we are talking more about okay, I'm passing, I toss my head and jump. But if you have like, you know, if you if if you can see the big picture and you see that the drill we're doing, we're doing like when we are passing, but we can actually do when we are doing takedowns, defending a takedown. So I think that's something that's really important. So all, all the techniques we do, I always use that mindset, you know. Because sometimes we're focusing on passing the guard, okay, we're teaching a technique, but if you're smart and, and you know, you have a very open mind, you're gonna see that that specific technique that we're teaching on top, like passing the guard, you can actually use when you're sweeping, when you're doing a takedown, it's just like a different angle, you know. I always like to show this example. Let's say uh, he's passing using the one over one under pass, right? So he has the one over one under pass. He's in a good position. He's trying to pass my guard. Okay, I'm on bottom playing guard. He's on top passing my guard. He has the one over one under pass. Now, there's a lot of techniques that I know how to use, how to attack him or defend when I'm on bottom, defending the one over one under pass. Okay. Now, if we change the angle, like if, you, if we see the, the same situation from a different angle, look, just roll on bottom there. What is this? This is the deep half guard. So the one over one under pass is a deep half guard. If you have, you know, this understanding that it's just a different angle. So maybe you don't realize, but a lot of techniques on bottom when you're defending the one over one under pass, you can use when you're defending the deep half guard. So if you have this mindset, you can find so many different techniques. So I learned this technique on bottom with defending the one over one under pass. I learned this technique defending one over one, one under pass when I'm on bottom. Where like I push in, I hold his wrist, I go up, I drop my knee, I roll over his arm, and then I pull my leg out and I end up getting a crucifix. Okay. So this technique, you can also do when you're on top. Why? Because it's the same position. But like sometimes you don't mean that you can do the same technique that you do from one under one over pass in the deep half guard on top. I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go again there. Let's say he's, he goes on bottom. I'm right here. Grab the wrist, okay. Get space on bottom. I push him on top. I can push him, so I move away. I get space. I drop my knee. I'm gonna roll over his arm. I pull my leg out. I end up in this position. So you see how I did the exactly same technique from a totally different situation. Okay, one over one under pass. Deep half guard on top. They look different, but if you understand the idea. The same technique. So that's how we do, we create a lot of techniques from burn ball situation or leg drag. Leg drag is a pass. Everybody learns the leg drag, like passing the guard. But we do so many leg drags when we are on bottom, right? Like when he sits down, leg drag, get up, you're on top, you're already passing the guard. So that's the mindset. There's so many techniques. Burn ball. I'm on bottom, I use the door heaver, I play his hips down, I spin and dig his back. You can also do the burn ball from top. You're on top, the guy has the door heaver, you get the angle, you can roll doing the burn ball. So, for every technique that we do, try to, you know, have this approach where, you know, you have a very open mind and you can, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to find many techniques, you know. So if you have this mindset, you're gonna create techniques. I think a lot of people ask this, oh, how you guys always come up with new techniques, new ideas, you know? That's the mindset. Just try to see one technique from different angles, you know? So, you know, if, if you do that, you're gonna find techniques, you're, you're gonna add techniques, you're gonna create something new. So I think that's super important. That's what we have been doing, you know, for a long time, since we were kids, we were always like doing exactly what we're doing now. Like we finish class, hey look, I'm doing this technique here. Check this out. And then 
we're just trying to find something new, something new, you know? See the same technique from different angles. I think this is really good.